Looking for an intense lower body conditioning workout? Well, try the stairs. Today I'm going to show you five moves that you can do to spice up your stair workout. We're going to start with a quick step. Now this is really just to get the blood flowing. You want to pop off the balls of the feet quickly here on each stair. So you're leading either with your left or your right. You're going as quickly as you can all the way to the top. Go back down, repeat leading with the other foot. Now this is an excellent abdominal exercise as well. You want to step every other stair and you want to leave the ball of your foot driving the opposite knee up towards the sky. So you're getting that plyometric up and off the stair. We're going to do it all the way to the top. So you go every other step, leave the ball of the foot, drive that knee up towards the sky. Use those arms as well because that gives you that momentum to get up the stairs. Now this move is awesome because now it's not just going up and down, we're going to work laterally. You're really going to want to think about picking your knees up nice and high as you go sideways up the stairs. You're pushing off with your lead leg, so whichever direction you're facing, you're going to want to drive off that leg first, really push off, get a nice high knee, you're working laterally all the way up the stairs, you go back down, repeat facing the other direction. Now I love adding the lunge as one of my moves during stair workouts because it allows you to use the posterior chain of your body a lot more. You're going to step every other stair, pressing through the heel of your foot. You're going to drive up off the heel of that foot, so you're really activating your glutes, getting your hamstrings going, going all the way to the top. This is a good move to do if you need to catch your breath a little bit, but you're still working that lower body. Now this is the most challenging move. So you're going to start here with your feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to leave both feet at the same time. After that squat jump, you're going to explode up to that next stair. You want to land gently into that squat. So you don't want to you don't want to land with straight legs. Absorb the shock of that jump all the way to the top. Get about 10 to 15 of those squat jumps and then run the rest of the flight. Hope you guys enjoyed that stair workout. See you next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.